hottest place to see bizarre creatures on the planet is the Amazon. The Amazon stands out amongst the others in being bizarre. This is the biggest rainforest in the world, places of which still consist of some dark mysteries that the forest refuses to divulge. Look at the trees and some weird faces stare at you. The Uakari, a monkey of the flooded forest, is unique among the South American monkeys because of his short tail. But this guy seems to have had enjoyed the sun way too much. On the contrary, this one needs some sun. White-faced Saki monkeys reside in the forest cover and are also called flying monkeys. They throw themselves between trees with carefree joy. However, when there is a grub, gluttony takes over. Huge spaces of the Amazon are inundated every year, so reaching from one tree to another means facing water. This peculiar animal is the three-toed sloth. Normally seen hanging upside down from lofty branches, they love an intermittent swim. Even more bizarre things are found in the woods, like these Amazon dolphins. Amongst the dolphin family, they are the only ones with a supple neck. The water also houses weird creatures that we rarely sight. The water monkey, or arowana, is in fact a fish. A fish that prefers to take food on the leap. And with marauders looming large in the water, it is not a good idea to declare your presence. But what is that? A tiny one of these things. The peeper toad is one of nature's most disgusting creations. The females take care of their youngsters in small clefts on their back. When it comes to leaving home, they shake free in a way that makes the skin shiver to the core. The biggest river turtles reside here. In dry seasons, they can be seen in great numbers moving to the beach to lay eggs. A traditional means of reproduction. On these sandbanks, we also find the bird with an upside-down bill. This is a bonnet. These birds flutter low down in the water, scooping up whatever they can in their slung beak. There are more varieties of birds here than anywhere else on the planet, and the Hoatzin is one of the bizarrest. The Hoatzin is the bird version of a cow. It thrives on leaves and allows them to ferment in its four-chambered tummy, resulting in strange smells like a cow. An individual tendency that gives it another name, the stink bird. But the really bizarre creatures are not the ones which reside in the Amazon, which you actually see. Bugs and insects continuously eat their way in the flora. In turn, they get eaten too. Pygmy marmosets are the tiniest monkeys in the world. Like naughty elves, they grab every chance they get, including sucking on the liquid secreted by the trees. The Amazon, with its bizarre mysteries, is the perfect place to witness bizarre creatures of our planet. Australia is the hub of the most bizarre animals on the planet. On no other place on earth can you catch a glimpse of such cute bears perched up on the trees. Koalas are as Australian in nature as the air's rock. The terrestrial wombat is as appealing as the koala bear. This one definitely knows the worst place to stand while
his mate is busy digging a hole. Years and years ago, Australia separated from the landmass of Gondawana land, carrying with it an ancient marsupial that may have looked like this if alive. With no competitor around, this marsupial pattern ruled and evolved with variations. Instead of comprising deer and rabbits, the elite group here consists of Australian kangaroos and wallabies, as they are well suited for grasslands and cliff faces respectively. Next in line is the spiny echidna, a creature so weird and primitive that it could have possibly scared off a few dinosaurs. This is Australia's response to the anteater, whose cousin resides in the wilds of New Guinea. It scampers in search for ants and termites. When it stumbles upon a nest, it breaks it open and greedily enjoys his grub. But this echidna doesn't earn the prize of being the strangest animal in this territory. This title is bestowed on the duck-billed platypus, an animal so peculiar that on its early sightings by Western scientists, it was ignored as a hoax. So, for the first prize, the platypus wins inarguably. This is called Barrow Island, a tiny projection of land just 30 miles off the western coast of Australia. This is an area of immense disparities. One half of the land contains an oil field, and the other half has a national reserve. It is a place of great harmony between humans and nature, and they have learned to live happily next to each other. This hare wallaby appears every evening at the same time in the bar. Indeed, it's so on time that the oil people can keep time with its entry. It moves around the barroom floor, where golden bandicoots, which are rat-like animals, try to stuff more peanuts than the previous night, and where the chubby booty, similar to a rabbit, floats in and helps itself. Booties are actually small wallabies. On the Australian mainland, they have faced extinction, so Burrow Island is the only place where you can spot them. There you go, mate. The hare wallaby hardly has to plead for his food. 